praise the lord in the name of the greatest missionary our lord and savior jesus christ we welcome you hi i am alexi palan myself shiny alexi we have five children uh, the eldest one is in the seminary and the rest four are here we are full time missionaries of sandona community of disciples since uh, 19 years we are uh, in the mission by virtue of baptism we are all called to be missionaries witnessing is the very essence of who we are as christians as missionaries evangelizers missionaries are witness proclaimers we are called to be and we are to be witness proclaimers our call role as an individual family community and the church is to be witness proclaimers for that to be witness proclaimers we have to first hear the basic gospel message kerigma the first proclamation by receiving by hearing by listening to the kerigma one is filled with the holy spirit which may lead the person to be a part of the community koinonia that is what we see in the acts of the apostles uh there we can see uh, on the on the day of pentecost um the disciples were praying with mother mary in the upper room and the holy spirit descended upon all of them and uh, they were filled with the holy spirit and a new life then they started proclaiming jesus that was the first proclamation of apostles and the disciples together where they 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 proclaimed jesus and the people different parts of the world they were gathered there because it was the festival of pentecost all of them heard in their own languages when they when they uh, proclaimed jesus and 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 the, and the same day more than 3000 people joined with them and that means they became a community that is the church and it was the inauguration of the church they started witnessing wherever they go together they witness jesus when when we we now we are in the mission here in uh, delhi and up border in our parish it is a, a very small parish of mirat mirat diocese we as a family we are uh, going together we are witnessing sometimes uh, whenever uh, father parish priest entrusted uh, both of us to take adult catechism whenever he is not free most of the sundays he will be busy with uh, some other office works uh, once uh, one of the family one of the uh, parishioner he was uh, uh, he was sharing that uh, we are much uh, inspired to see your family and we would like to become like your family Uh, we know that is not our our credit it is uh, it is only because holy spirit is working in us that is uh, uh, his his work not our credit in acts of apostles chapter 1 8 says but you shall receive power when the holy spirit will come upon you and you shall be my witness in jerusalem in all of judea and in samaria and in the ends of the earth we are all called to be witnesses to the ends of the earth it is personal and pope francis in the encyclical evangelii gaudium says you are mission you are the witness so it is the holy spirit is the principal agent of evangelization and holy spirit leads us guides us and we are all empowered by the holy spirit to proclaim to witness to the love of god in the encyclical evangelii nunciandi paragraph 41 pope paul 6 says modern man listens more willingly to witnesses than to teachers and if he does listens to teachers it is because they are witnesses and saint john paul 2 in his encyclical Ecclesia in Asia 
also repeats the same. Witnessing is personal. The Jesus encounter leads a person to witnessing. When I experience, I encounter with Jesus, that, that encounter experience itself lead, leads me to witnessing. So I have some examples from the Bible, uh, especially from the Gospel, Acts of Apostles. First of all, uh, Saint John the Baptist. John the Baptist says, I my, myself did not know him, but he who sent me to baptize with water said to me, He on whom you see the Spirit descend and remain, this is he who baptized with the Holy Spirit. John chapter 1, 32 to 34. So he testifies Jesus. When the disciples, his disciples heard this, they started following Jesus. This is the conversion experience from the testimony of witnessing. Then another one is uh, Act of the Apostles, chapter 1, verses 25. During the election of uh, Matthias to be part of this, uh, to, uh, to the apostles group, to replace uh, Judas, uh, Peter said, he, he, the one who is going to be elected, he should be a, a witness for the death and resurrection of Jesus. So that uh, uh, witnessing of Jesus, death and resurrection, that is very important. Then the third one, third example is, say from Acts of Apostles, chapter 3, 15. Uh, immediately after the uh, that uh, healing of that lame person, uh, Peter and John, uh, they were explaining this experience, this, uh, this, what happened to that person. Peter, Peter explained in he, to the Jewish crowd in his speech and killed the author of life, chap, uh, uh, Acts of the Apostle chapter 3, 15, and killed the author of life, whom God raised from the dead. To this we are witnesses. And the, finally, the last uh, example I have is uh, example of Samaritan woman, John chapter 4, Verses 29, uh, she says, Samaritan woman says to the whole city, Come, see a man who told me all that I have ever been. When the people heard this, they, they came to Jesus and they experienced him. And after that, they themselves said, Now we are, we are, we are believing in him because, not because of your words, we, we ourselves see and experience him. I do remember one of my experience when we started off from Kerala to North India to be a missionary for a come and see experience in Santuana community. So it was like we uh, we were married and we were having at that time uh, two and a half children. Rosa, the third one, I was carrying her and uh, while coming from Kerala to North India, to De Agra, the community was at that time in Agra and uh, we started off from Kerala and uh, um, I was, uh, we were active, you know, uh, Jesus youth and uh, uh, I thought I was, you no know, fulfilled with the love of God, Jesus and I have to share the good news to the people of other faith in uh, North India. That was my whole goal when I was, you no, know, I started off from uh, Kerala. So we started traveling and the tra while we reached Maharashtra, the central part of uh, India, uh, I uh, saw the people from you know, Maharashtra and all getting into the train and without reservation and you no, know, they were sitting near us and well, it was really a shocking experience for me myself. It was like uh, uh, I was not able to love them. I, I, I found uh, I'm not able to love them. Before I starting, uh, I started from Kerala. What I uh, felt is I was full of with full of love, and I can share the love of God to others and all. But when I reached Maharashtra, I found there is no love in me. So it was a time. Uh, we went for a one month commandancy experience in Santwana community that was in the year 2000. So uh, we were there for one month 
and the the reality which i found uh, no uh, that was there is no love in me so that one month was a time i spent my time before the blessed eucharist and i prayed lord fill me with your love so that that love may flow from me and my family because without that love uh, there is uh, there is nothing to be shared so uh, that was my prayer and i found the lord is filling me each day with his love and uh, that was our uh, we started our journey from that one month we were there in the community and after that uh, being one month in the community we found you know that i uh, by profession i am an advocate and chatai was doing his uh, business uh, in ernakulam kerala so after one month of this commandsi experience we went back to uh, kerala uh, took six months to wind up and we discerned to come back and uh, because uh, why we discerned is we found the lack of missionaries in north india uh, where, while we were with the community santwana community we were with the community we found the uh, lack of Uh, missionaries in the uh, in north india so we took a decision to come back and uh, now as when, when i look back this 19 years uh, I, i the lord is using our family as his witness i'm able to go to the remote villages to stay with them with the rag pickers in the beggars colony in the remote village wherever it may be uh, i know they are the children of god they are my brothers and sisters in christ and i am able to uh, be with them love them so that's all his grace to be his witness in the message for world mission day pope francis says mission is the free and conscious response to god's call yet we discern the call only when we have a personal relationship with jesus christ present in the church let us ask ourselves are we ready to respond to the call or respond to the presence of holy spirit in our life as a married couple as a, a consecrated person or as a ordained minister are we willing to be sent forth at any time any place to be witness to the faith in our god merciful father and to proclaim the salvation through jesus christ and the new life received through holy spirit by building up the church if there is a interior openness can we say here am i lord send me I will